Hello viewers, welcome back to my technology channel on YouTube GTEC. Here is an interesting and informative video on how we need to deal with a malfunctioning lithium polymer battery. So previously I had made quite a few videos on batteries, especially lithium polymer batteries and one among them was related to how we need to carefully handle lithium polymer batteries in order to safely use them. So I had also spoken about the dangers that a lithium polymer battery can poise if we don't handle it carefully or even if you handle it carefully a malfunctioning battery can still pose a threat. So uh, if you were to um, browse the net you will find that uh, in some cases they have uh, caused uh, great injuries, they have caused uh, what do you call mm, loss to property etc. So uh, what do we need to do if we encounter such a battery? So first of all uh, what all signs do we need to look in for? when we uh, looking for like in order to identify a malfunctioning battery so that is one aspect secondly like if you identify a malfunctioning lithium polymer battery so what are things we, we need to do in order to uh, uh, handle it safely and safely dispose it of so uh, that's what we are going to discuss in this in this video so in my previous video uh, uh, basically like uh, uh, the discussion was based on the experiences of others uh, uh, when it came to uh, the dangers poised by lithium polymer batteries so uh, here in this video so it's my own experience because I recently encounter, encountered a, a malfunctioning lithium polymer battery so uh, I uh, I tried to handle it as much carefully as possible and brought it to a situation where it can now be safe, safely dispose, uh, disposed of. So uh, uh, for your visuals, so here is the battery. So uh, now it's safe to handle. Okay, so uh, let's discuss about this now. So let's start. So this battery uh, is around uh, three, two and a half years or three years old, like uh, if I remember. So I was using this battery for uh, some robotics projects and also on one of my drones. So during lockdown, so since I was not using the battery, so what I had done was I had charged it to the recommended 3.7 volts. So that is the uh, voltage that they recommend in order to store the batteries. So I had charged it to 3.7 volts and had put it uh, into a liposafe cover and had stored it in a uh, cool place. So I had uh, followed all the requisites, uh, um, all the things that one needs to do in order to safe a battery uh, 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 sorry store a lithium polymer battery safely so uh, after three four months so uh, i thought of using it for some purpose so i just opened the lipo cover and to my astonishment so the battery had puffed up like this so you can see here you can see here closely So initially, uh, usually it is flat. Usually it is flat. So it's completely puffed up here. So later I will also show you a normal battery like uh, when it is flat. So here it is. It has almost increased in size by 50%. So this is one of the important and probably uh, the most visible sign that you can observe when a lithium polymer battery is malfunctioning. 
even uh, on your smartphones are probably uh, your hotspot uh, data hotspot uh, dongles that you get so even those batteries have seen uh, recently i saw it somewhere uh, with one of my friends so the battery had puffed up and uh, he did not have uh, much knowledge about it and he was uh, uh, using the battery and i uh, actually uh, uh, I, I told him not to uh, use the battery anymore because it's a danger so uh, similarly here the visible sign is a malfunctioning lithium polymer battery will have puffed up like this so one other important sign is you need to constantly uh, monitor the voltage of a lithium polymer battery for example if a battery even if it is new for that matter if by mistake or somehow if it gets discharged below 2.8 or 2.5 volts it depends on the manufacturers manufacturer so some manufacturers uh, specify it as 2.5 volts some manufacturers say it is 2.8 volts so whatever the manufacturer has specified uh, if a battery gets discharged beyond that voltage so you should never ever use that battery again if you try to use it if you try to charge that battery there are chances that it might catch fire or explode so very very important so there are of course a uh, lot of uh, electrical reasons why uh, a lithium polymer battery which has got discharged beyond a certain voltage cannot be uh, recharged so uh, let's not look into that right now so anyways so these two are very very important signs so other than that like if you um, if you see some uh, physical uh, uh, what do you call it, damage on any of the batteries so physical damage in the sense like uh, 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 due to uh, a fall or something whatever so if there is a damage to the surface of the battery even in such a case you should not use the batteries so uh, now uh, in the next part let us see like how I dealt with this battery when I uh, opened the cover and when I saw the battery in this situation so what all things I did in order to uh, make it safe so for your visuals uh, here is a normal battery so as you can see on all the sides it's almost flat so this is also about three to four years old so because of which there might be a slight bulge slight so that's because lithium polymer batteries over time say uh, gases get collected inside the cells so because of which uh, they tend to slightly bulge so contrary to this as you can see this puffed up battery so it's looking very odd so it's you can see a huge bulge on both the sides so you can easily identify a malfunctioning or a puffed up lithium polymer battery so this clip should give you a very good idea about how to identify an improper battery so the first thing that you should not do when you encounter such a battery is do not take a needle or any sharp object and try to pierce it in order to release the gases or say in order to make it all right it's not going to become all right because a puffed up battery is as good as gone so we can't repair it maybe some experts will be able to uh, probably open this up and probably uh, segregate good cells and probably separate out those cells and uh, uh, use it in some other batteries so you don't try to do it it's dangerous 
so that is the first thing so don't try to pierce it with anything if you do it take my words your luck would be bad so something bad would happen so it might catch fire or explode so second thing is just you don't throw it to the bin or trash because once you throw it to the trash it may no longer be dangerous to you but it might become dangerous to someone else whoever is handling the trash or someone else so that is the second important thing so the third very important point that i want to stress is never shot the terminals whether a battery is absolutely normal or whether a battery is puffed like this or even if you have discharged this battery to some very low voltage so even if slightest of voltage is there in the battery slightest of power is there in the battery do not shard it until it is fully discharged if you shard it so it's going to be a dangerous thing so uh, this is a very important point now i will share my experience like what i did when i encountered this battery so initially like i tried to find out someone around me like i tried on the net and other places uh, i was searching for someone who could uh, who has knowledge about how to dispose this off in the sense how uh, how to handle this such a battery and safely dispose it off so unfortunately because of lockdown or um, for some reason no one was available around me in bangalore so i myself had to figure out uh, ways to deal with this battery and safely uh, and, and make it safe so because in such a situation it's also very dangerous to keep this battery at home so how i uh, brought it to a safe situation so let's see so what i did was i put the battery back to lipo safe cover and just uh, had the wires outside and then i checked the voltage so it was showing around 15 volts on 14 point something or 15, somewhere near 15 so uh, that was the voltage to which i had charged this battery in order to store it so uh, now the challenge was to bring the voltage to near zero okay that is to discharge it and that to safely without the uh, threat of fire or uh, explosion or anything so for this what i did was i made a i i bought an automobile uh bulb auto bulb so this is a two wheeler bulb so then i took this battery to the terrace of my building in the open area i once again put it back to the lipo cover with just the wire outside and then connected the wire to this bulb so uh, you can see the visuals now so with this exercise that is connecting this battery of the battery to auto bulb i was able to discharge the battery from around 15 volts to around uh, 3 volts 3 3.5 volts so uh, it took quite some time probably uh, more than an hour or say one and a half hours i don't remember properly so after that the bulb started to become uh, dimmer and dimmer and subsequently i uh, was no longer seeing any 
light in the bulb so the filament was no longer burning so i removed the bulb and checked the voltage and it was showing around 3 point something volts so the next thing that i did was i put a uh, a lower source in the sense a source with lesser wattage so i selected a i i took a 6 volts uh rc uh, rc motor so which we use in robotics so and i connected that to the battery as you can see in this visions uh, in this visual so with this method i was able to discharge the battery by another volt so it it uh, reduced from around 3.6 3.7 volts or whatever to around 2.7 2.8 volts so at that voltage the motor would no longer turn so because of which it would no longer draw the power uh, from the battery so the battery would not further discharge so now i had to find uh, some other load a uh, lesser load in order to further discharge the battery so for this i searched in my electronics junk at home so i was able to find an old uh torch so it had a 3 volt uh, bulb so i removed the bulb from the torch and then connected wires to it and connected that to the battery so uh the bulb started glowing and it uh, went on for 15 20 minutes so after which once again uh, that went blank so i checked the voltage so it had reduced to around 0.9 volts so at my home i did not have any other load that could further draw power from this so what i did was uh, uh then i took a jar i took a glass jar and put some water to it and put 3 4 teaspoons of common common salt and dissolved that and subsequently i uh, took two wires from the battery and i inserted that to the jar so i and i left it overnight so in the morning when i uh check the voltage so voltage had dropped to around 0.3 volts so you can see that in this visual so now Uh, i have connected a multimeter to check the current voltage so it's around uh, 0.06 or something like that so this is the maximum voltage to which i was able to discharge the battery so with this i think uh, this battery is safe to be uh disposed of so i can put this to trash and it's not going to pose any threat to anyone so uh this is all about this video so if you uh like this video if you found this video interesting so please click on the like button so i'm making more videos on electronics robotics search engine optimization digital marketing etc in near future so if you want to receive notifications about my future videos please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so thanks for now bye